What we're going to talk about during this section is fidaxomycin or difficid which is a newer antibiotic used to treat C. difficile, having gained FDA approval in 2011. What differentiates fidaxomycin from the other antibiotics, metronidazole and vancomycin? And the answer to that is that fidaxomycin is a much more targeted therapy. It targets C. difficile, treats C. difficile, and has minimal collateral damage. Specifically, it has a much smaller effect on the surrounding bacteria in the gut that are frequently used to wipe out C. difficile or prevent the infection in the first place. And there were two large prospective randomized controlled trials that were conducted in the United States and Canada in one and globally in the other. Within those studies, patients diagnosed with C. difficile were randomized to either receive fidaxomycin, difficile, 200 mg twice daily for 10 days, or vancomycin, 125 mg four times daily for 10 days, and then they were followed for four weeks thereafter. Within these studies, Vancomycin and fidaxomycin were compared for initial treatment response with the bar graph shown on the left. And we see that fidaxomycin had an original response rate or an initial response rate of 88% versus 86% for the vancomycin group. Difficid was, quote, non-inferior, meaning it was just as effective as the vancomycin. But what I said before was that fidaxomycin, or difficid, was designed to reduce rates of recurrence. And that was shown in a statistically significant manner in the right bar graphs. Within those bar graphs, we're looking at something called sustained clinical response, a combination of initial treatment response, recurrence, and mortality. We see that initial treatment response favored fidaxomycin in about 2% more of the population, not statistically significant difference. Mortality was similar in all groups in the study. What differentiated the sustained clinical response were differences in recurrence. And the sustained clinical response for fidaxomycin or difficid was 71% versus 57% across both studies. So we can see that fidaxomycin or difficid is a statistically significantly better antibiotic in patients who are being treated for C. difficile. In my practice, given its reduced rates of recurrence associated with it, I frequently try to give fidaxomycin or difficile to those patients that have two or more, great, two or more risk factors for recurrence. I find that to be a very efficacious group to reduce those rates of recurrence and improve outcomes. So you as a patient might consider having a discussion with your healthcare provider about fidaxomycin or difficile as a treatment if you are have two or more risk factors for recurrence as this might be the right treatment for you.